someone's going to T-bone me. They're going right into the rocks. Yeah, it's going to be worse for them than it is for you, for sure. It's just, there's so many fucking bad drivers out there. <laughs> well, so, you know. yeah, we could talk at length about that, but I think a lot of that boils down to, like, if you look at Europe, you look at Germany, getting a driver's license in Germany is a serious deal. It takes two years. Really? It costs about $2,500. Really? Getting your driver's license in Germany, there's Germans are so serious. And it's, they're serious about their cars and about their driving and about the Autobahn. But getting the driver's license in Germany is similar to like getting a private pilot's license over here. Wow. Yeah. And so, so why don't we do that over here? Well, that would be a higher barrier for a lot of people. And so, you know, car companies want to sell cars. Insurance companies want to sell insurance. Also, you know, like maybe people don't need to learn how to drive that good. They just need to pay attention and don't go fast. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Most, I, like, I don't know average... if it's speed, but it's just it's paying attention. You know, I mean, our kids all just, you know, in the last 10 years all went through driver's ed. And I think they got you know, some decent training, but, you know, to your point, uh, like lane discipline, like, you know, if yeah. you're the slowest guy out there, get in the right lane. Yeah. You know, if you're the, if you're going a little bit faster, you go in the inside lane, but just that, you know, that drives any serious driver crazy is when somebody's in the left lane going 49, yeah. you which know? is, I, th that doesn't bother me. Okay. The, what, it does bother me, but it doesn't bother me. Like not paying attention, the not paying attention, thing the distracted wild. drivers, it's right? Wild. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, and so I would put often. some, I would put some of that on the OEMs. I think the OEMs to some degree try to make the cars like nannies, like whether it's autopilot or adaptive steering. I think I, I had a friend of mine's dad when I was in high school, I'll never forget. He said, Hey kid, you know, if you want to stay alive, don't use, if you're driving at night, don't use your cruise control. I'm like, well, why not? Well, you set your cruise control, you got your tunes going, you're a little tired, you fall asleep oh, and you're in the ditch, right? Yeah. So I think that, uh, you know, I would almost say that to some degree that the nannies to try to protect drivers all of a sudden become, well, maybe I can crawl in the back seat and take a nap, you know? Here's, here's a tip for anybody that might be driving and you're worried you're going to fall asleep. Get, uh, bring a washcloth with you and ice cubes. Like uh, get a wet washcloth, yeah. and then put ice cubes in that washcloth, and just rub your face. Okay, it'll keep you awake yeah. the whole time. It's not painful. So yeah. I used to slap myself in the face. That's what I used to do. So you used to do, you'd be out on a road trip and trying to drive through the yeah, night. Yeah, because I've, I've well, done all that. It's because I was doing stand-up comedy yeah. at night, and I was uh, delivering newspapers in the morning. So I was oh. always fucking we've tired. Got, we've got a lot of things you to deliver. Newspapers? Oh, fuck yeah, I did. did, you, what, what did I was which 12, one? 12 years old, Kansas City Star. Nice. And dude, I mean, I'm getting up at like. Three forty-five, four a.m., delivering mm -hmm. papers for two, two and a half hours, and dude, like on a Sunday, which you was on your bike? No, I'm in the back of this paper truck, and this guy had the route, and then you know we would have to like roll the paper mm -hmm. and put in this machine and crank this thing. It would tie a little knot with some string around it and fucking toss it out the window yep. when we're going by it. You know, like dogs are barking at you and it's snowing and it's cold. And then I'd be the, I, you know, I would do some of that, but all of a sudden there'd be like an apartment complex. Well, here's your stack of papers and I'm out tossing them on people's doorsteps and like, on like a juicy day, we might make like three dollars and twenty five cents. <laughs> and so what would we do? We go we go to Seven Eleven and we blow half the cash on freaking, you know, nasty burritos and big gulps and crap like right. that, you know. But that was just kind of what we did. But 